Okay, in this video, we are gonna learn how to style our menus. And now styling menus has come a long way since the initial 6.0 launch of Foundation. And um, I'm really happy with where things are. Um, it has a new menu swatch shipped in Foundation 6.2. And uh, man, it is really game changing. It allows us to really easily style our menus exactly how we'd like. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I'm just continuing with a, a build that we did from the top bar video. And I'm kind of using the existing top bar. And we're just going to see how we style the menu there. Okay, first off, um, inside this menu, if you notice down on the bottom, I've added a class called My Menu. And that, that corresponds to the class here that is used inside the menu swatch. Okay, so inside the menu swatch, I can, I can define um, my menu. And what's really cool here is you can actually define uh, what type of menu this is going to uh, style, right? Because let's say, for example, you know, in this top bar example, I'm actually, ha I have a drill down, and then remember it morphs to a drop down menu when it's uh, on, tablet or medium and large devices, right? So what this allows us to do is, let's say I had, um, I can create two different menu swatches for this menu. Uh, man, I'm diving right into the hardcore stuff really quick. But if I did this, I have my menu dot drill down. I, if I were to copy and paste this swatch, okay, I could then do my menu drop down. So when my menu is a drop down, use these styles. When my menu is a drill down, use these other color styles. This gives us a lot of really powerful flexibility with the menu stack, just with a single class. I don't need to put any other classes. I just put my menu on here, but the menu swatch allows us to really define um, and hone down because we might want our sub menus to be different colors on drop down versus drill down and so on and so forth, right? So this gives us a lot of flexibility to target the menu in the exact state that we want. Okay, so just as any other swatch, we have uh, optional conditions of media query. Not sure how much that's gonna be useful with, with menus, but it's here if we ever need it, okay? Next is all the various colors, okay? So we have links, we can set the link, the default color link and the hover color. Uh, we have active links. Now uh, for active links, uh, you're going to have to make sure uh, if if you're in your menu that you actually have like style active menu enabled, okay? Um, if you want your active links to be styled, okay? Um, <clears throat> however, uh, for things like drop down, um, the hover on sub menus is going to be used um, for this. Then you can customize the heading because remember we can add a uh, static text and kind of, as kind of like labels inside of our menus. This allows us to customize those colors. Um, this allows us to uh, define our padding, right? So we can make our, our menus taller or fatter, right? So like in, an example, let's look at this um, this particular menu on this page. Let's set it to um, something like 32 pixels, right? As you can see right here in edit mode, it's going to make it a really fat menu. It's going to make it really, really big, okay? Um, and then we can style the background on hover. So if you want to have custom uh, hover colors, uh, we can do that. So if you want to you know, as you hover over with your mouse on various menu items, you can change the hover color of each menu item. Cool. Next is we can actually have separate menu styles for the sub menu. Okay. So for example, in this example, we have our background color as, um, as white, right? So let's, let's go ahead and preview this menu. We see here when I hover over the background menu is styled differently than the menu above. Right, because we want we it's going to be hovered over content, so we we want to make sure we have a background on there and things of that nature. Okay, so um, you can customize the links to to be a different color, the hover color to be different, uh, and then the background color, and then you can also customize the carrot color. Now the carrot color is um is on the, in the sub menu settings because you only see the carrot when a sub menu is active. So this allows us to customize the carrot, basically the sub menu indicator. Okay. Um, then we have uh, our headings, obviously, uh, and then we have our border. If you notice, the sub menu actually has a border around it. You can customize the color and the size of that, because some people don't want any border at all, which kind of gives you a, a much different look. Obviously, um, in the background of this site is white, 
So when I remove that border, it doesn't look too great, but maybe in different site configurations, that's exactly what you would want. And then just like uh, the menu, you can actually adjust the padding to have different padding on the sub menu. Because if we kept that the same and the sub menu was also 32 pixels, that would look pretty horrible. <laughs> so as you see, menus are really simple to style now and to really um, make your own. I think that um, because they're so modular and we can actually define um, targeting styles based on the type of menu, um, we have a, a very, very flexible solution here. Now, there are times where you might need to do something extra little special. Maybe you want to target a specific menu item or you want to do something special for active menus, right? Well, basically in all the swatches, um, let's say you have a background color, right? Um, if you go to the elements inside of any sort, any swatch at all, you'll notice inside there's pre-baked elements for tons of different menu options. We have menu, menu item, active menu items, sub menu items, active sub menu items, drill down menus, title bars, top bars, right? So there's a lot of elements pre-baked in here um, so that you can make sure if you really wanna fine tune various settings, maybe you wanna have round corners on something, right? Um, this allows you to do that. 